26th, after watching my beautiful, amazing mother sleeping peacefully in the hospital, she passed away. It was a Sunday evening. I wanted to share this with all of you because I wanted you to know that without her, I don't believe I would have ever even started this channel. My mother was and still is my universe, and I am still mourning her loss. Um, I told her when she was in the hospital that once she left that body of hers, that I would let this community know. I wanted you to also know that I spread her ashes, her ashes um, at uh, Mount Shasta, a place that she loved during a storm, a snowstorm that was breathtakingly beautiful. It was a storm I will always remember. <laughs> I, uh, I was with a friend and I, I fell through the snow a little bit as I was trying to get to a specific area to take her ashes and spread them out. Um, it was a beautiful day, even though it was snowing and <sighs> my friend was talking about how he saw the wind or he saw the snow whirling around as the wind was blowing. The wind was exceptionally strong and powerful, and my mother um, was a fan of, of the wind, um, and I imagine still is. I know that there are questions, and it's okay to ask, by the way. Um, some may be wondering if I have had contact with her yet, and um, truthfully, I have not. Um, as I have said to you, my philosophy has always been that I will let the person who has passed on reach out to me, and this is no different um, for my mother, though I will tell you that um, because of my closeness to her, um, it's been difficult not to um, think about her during an experience. And by the way, I have had a few experiences and I am in one of them. I did think about her for a moment. And while I'm not gonna, going to ex, um, share these full experiences right now, what I will tell you is that, um, well, I will tell you that there was a point where right before I started moving and, and going into motion, I could hear a wind and maybe even a whisper, and that may have been mom. But um, as I may have expressed to, um, well, I'm pretty sure I've expressed this on the channel, that it is my belief that once someone... Um, passes, that there is a transition period. You might almost think of it like a, um, a debriefing, I guess, in a way. You know, in life, when we go through life, there are many positives. There's some beautiful things that happen to us. But there are also things that um, aren't as beautiful and some things that hurt us and um, cause us tremendous pain. And I, I believe that perhaps there is a time, there is a moment right after we go where we deal with those things. You know, we get those things out. We maybe um, deal with those things and um, so that we're able to better move on. I have also felt since my mother's passing that she has been with me um i had to drive my mother i can i can let you guys know this my my mother lived in oregon and i drove from oregon to
to um, Southern California. And I have to believe that she was with me in some way the whole time. I have felt that. But I think one of the things I'm discovering about losing someone that's really, really, really close to you is that it, um, it, it's difficult being that close to the situation. Um, as I say, I know that there are people who are thinking to themselves, well, you, you have this access, you can go out and, you know, you can connect and do all these things. And you may not hear this on other channels. You know, um, my, I believe that my channel and the way that I express myself is very unique in, in this space. Um, but for me being this close to the situation, um, it's, it's, it's just been very, very difficult. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's been hard. It's been a challenge, but again, I wanted to make sure I shared it with you guys. Um, I also want you to know that during this time, I, I may or may not be doing Sunday episodes, depending on where I am emotionally. Um, again, I want to make sure, especially for the younger people, because I know there are a lot of younger people who listen to me. And, um, you know, if you have questions uh, about my mother, if you have questions about death, it's okay to ask me about those things. As you know, and as I have said um, before, death is, um, is, is, is a mystery to me. It continues to be a mystery to me. When I astral project or when I go through the beyond body process, I am seeing things, I believe, through a filter because I am still connected to this body. Once my connection with this body ends, I have no idea how I would perceive things. But while I am in this body, I believe that I perceive things in a specific way, and that is because my mind is still figuring things out out there. Once this brain is, um, I'm disconnected from it, who knows what I'll see? I don't know. Um, but I wanted to make sure I took a moment to let you guys know that um, I appreciate um, and love each and every one of you. Everyone who has connected with this channel, there are, I believe, a little over 2,600 people who have done this. And Again, by, I guess, YouTube standards, that wouldn't be a very large channel, but I am just blown away by it and so grateful that you take the time to um, listen. So I wanted to make sure I said that, and um, I wanted to tell you or say that um, don't ever take this life for granted as it can turn on a dime. Um, before you know it, it could be coming to an end. So if you have wishes, desires, if you want to do things, personally, I don't believe in bucket lists. I, I believe in doing. So if you want to do something, do it. Because the next moment is not promised. So, yeah, I know this can be a, a tough life. And I don't understand and I never have claimed to understand the purpose and all of these other things behind it um, but I do believe that there is something there um, and um, I believe that it has a lot to do with love <laughs> so anyway thank you so much um, for taking a moment and listening to me, I know this is um, different, of course, than what I would normally post. Um, until next time, take care.